Okay, let's do a uh, map chart. So, first of all, uh, the data we're going to be graphing is basically we have the film name and the runtime in minutes to give us some data to map against the country name. So we're going to do a, a map that is a world map showing all the countries. So we'll graph our, these two series by country. And so now let's add the map by just double clicking on it. And we get the wizard, which is good because there's a lot of ticky things and this wizard helps us get it. We're not going to use the map gallery because that's just United States maps. So we have to actually go out to the internet and find a map. Uh, there's a link in the show notes below to the map that I'm using. Um, so you need to find the file on your hard drive. And then it'll give you a little preview so you know you got the right map. Okay, now on this page we can um, control the zoom, we can control the zoom and the position of the map. We can also add a Bing layer if we want like roads and satellite views. And we can crop the map um, to what we show here to reduce the data. Um, also, uh, these maps, including this map, have a tremendous amount of points of data in them to define the, the country boundaries. Um, if you leave it on best, you can actually overwhelm uh, report services and it will bulk. So uh, if your map is like that, like this map is, you probably want to turn it to, to reduce that size. And it will show you the, the difference. If you, if you look there, it made a very slight difference to your eye, but the amount of data being used is tremendous. In our case, we don't need all that detail. Okay, now how do you want to color the map? Um, you select here, you select your data set, now we have to link our data set to the data in the map. Um, the this, this spatial data, this is the data embedded in the map. And we want to link the English name in the map to the English country name in our data. And this is where we link it. So we need to come down to English column here. And you see when I selected that, it highlighted it. So now we pick our field. And now you see it highlighted that. And it's a good thing to check and make sure that you uh, have good matching here. And then now, how do you want to color it? Uh, and what do you want to color? Well, the series we're going to do is a count of the films. And let's do a heat map. So let's do blue to red. Again, this is just dummy data, but it gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. And now we hit finish. And then we can make it bigger so we can see it. Again, dummy data. To see our actual data, we have to preview. OK, now this well-known binary input is not valid. Um, not really sure why it does that. But if, if this happens to you, you can fix this by right-clicking on the map and oh, and going over here to uh, the, the properties. And we want to click on the series data. And we click on the data layer. And then uh, change layer spatial data source options. We want to link to the file. And then once you do that, it should be fixed. And it should take a little bit of time. OK, see? Uh, and here we can see uh, the number of films produced per country. So we can see countries with a high number of films produced are hot. They're red. And then countries with a very few, with just a, a few movies produced, those are cold. And uh, this totally makes sense to our data. And that's, uh, that's the basics of using a map. Any questions, leave them below. Thank you.